Okay, so here's a product out of China that um, that is well worth the dollars, and it came in pretty fast. I mean, within uh, five to seven days. So um, shipping was very reasonable. It was like three U.S. dollars. So it was it was nice. It was like sixty nine dollars. I got this and another one. Um, these things sell for that much um, in the U.S. alone for a single one. Um, all right, so ship to the door. So it has this little broom idea going on, and I'll explain that in a minute too if you need help with that. And some of them use Velcro up here, and it comes down, and you can press down and sort of let the Velcro move out of the way. Um, this will be, you know, this version of it, as you can see, it would still going to flex as you press down on it and grind. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it, it's going to have some some type of uh, ability to push down and of course it's going to get torn up a little bit over time over concrete but but that's not an issue because you're still going to get a nice a nice enough seal where you're going to be uh, be able to get your vacuum going um, i've already tried this on the grinder i did not try it running i just wanted to see its fit and finish and i'm really impressed with it so again this, this uh, not again, but this part comes off the front so you can get your grinder, um, your wheel to get close to a wall. Uh, and of course the underside, but you'll be looking through the top. It just snaps back on and it snaps on from the bottom up. So it, what is, does, it can't fly off that way if they go from the bottom up. So. Now, no resin bonded um, grinding wheel should be used in this, as they rec as they state right here. I'm guessing the resins will heat up and will potentially heat up and shoot all extra resin do here and cause issues, possibly even uh, flame issues. Um, so check this out. This is adjustable. So as you push on it, your grind, your as you push on your uh, your tool, this will float. So when I said that this has some flex to it, recall your head is going to be here, your wheel is going to be on this side, and this is sort of in the middle. So this brush will last much longer because you're going to be pushing here and grinding. The grinder is going to be here. So that's what's going to go on with that. Um, Pretty, pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Um, you just simply slide it on your, uh, put it on your, your bigger grinder there. These little nodules hold it. Um, they're recessed to keep it from sliding all the way up. You can see that little bit of a recess right there. Um, you snug it up with this clamp screw. Of course, all this stuff is easy to replace if you uh, break your clamp screw. No big deal. Um, so. Yes, I do recommend it. I'll give you guys the link, and it's uh, and I'll link it back to their company for a video because that company was pretty good with me. Um, dealing with one lady there. All right, and the other the underside of it when you go to push on it, yeah, your yeah, concrete dust and all that's going to cloud this up, clog this up. Um, but no big deal. You could you could clean that out if you had to get to that screw again. But the screws aren't loose. They're not going to come loose. It appears. Um, you know, with this riding up and down here, I don't think that's going to be an issue. If it is, no big deal. Put some Loctite in there and, and call it a day.